Jonathan Lee Rich's Investigates. I am covering the tragedy out of Nashville, Tennessee. Audrey Hale's dad was seen today out front of his house in Nashville. The father of the Nashville shooter at Covington Christian Academy was seen today. And I want to share a little bit about what transpired outside the family home. His name is Ronald Hale. He is the father to Audrey Hale. Check it out. So this is being reported by the Daily Mail. The vote Christian father of Nashville school shooter finally breaks cover to collect items from his $700,000 home, but refuses to address his trans daughter's massacre of three nine-year-olds and three adults. And there is the father, Ronald Hale, on the right. The father of trans school shooter Audrey Hale refused to address her K-I-L-L-I-N-G spree Thursday as he finally returned to the family's boarded up Nashville home. Ronald Hale, 64, was asked if he had any explanation for his daughter's murderous rampage, but would only tell a Daily Mail reporter, Sir, I have no comment. Sound familiar? Christopher Laundry. Asked whether he had any words of sympathy for the grieving families of Audrey's six victims, the ashen-faced parents stared straight ahead with an anguished look and repeated the phrase several times. Sir, I have no comment. Hale and his church coordinator wife, Norma, fled their $700,000 residence in Nashville's upscale Belmont Hillsboro neighborhood after police raided it in wake of Monday's mass shooting at Covenant School. A search of the three-bedroom property uncovered four of the seven guns Hale had secretly stashed away at the brick. Tudor-style home where she grew up and later plotted her outrage. And here is a uh, picture of Ronald Hale the father back at the house today. Let me know what you think. So he did sp speak, but very briefly with no comment, no comment about what happened. What's your thoughts on that? Um, it is being reported that Audrey Hale's parents, mother Norma and father Ronald are very religious. You would think that maybe they would speak out and speak about what transpired or are they just staying quiet because they're told to because maybe they have a lawyer or maybe they're being investigated themselves though unlikely but maybe they're more thinking civil litigation maybe they already contacted a lawyer it was kind of similar to the brian laundry case right roberto and christopher laundry refused to speak to anybody you know they centered themselves around bertolino and then when they were coming out on a daily basis while brian laundry was gone to get their mail or do the lawn reporters were there asking them what happened what's going on you have any comment nothing so it seems like this is the same here with ronald hale also he's not living there it looks like the parents are not living living there you know the police broke into that house after what happened at the school and the police went in and took audrey hale out they actually went to the house with flashbangs and uh went into the home and searched the home. Later on, they got rifles and brought rifles out of the home. I don't know what else kind of evidence they have, but right now the door there is wooded shut. Like they, they put wood over it because they police and authorities busted it down. Do you think the family, Ronald or Norma, don't feel safe about going considering there could be people out there that want retribution or retaliation you know no violence whatsoever is good and it's not acceptable not vigilante violence none of that but maybe they they're in fear you know they think someone's going to retaliate um or you know maybe they're in preparations of moving away you know because because of the stigmatized and what happened and the neighbors seeing what's going on maybe they you know they just had enough they've been living there for a long long time it's being reported but that's the situation going on in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm covering this case extensively. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. Check out my Audrey Hale videos. Got a lot of videos up about background, history, friends, associates, witnesses. Got a lot of things out. So go check that out. I'm covering this case extensively. When new information comes out, I will share it with all of you. Stay tuned. Justice for the victims, their families. Everyone be safe. Peace, love, God bless.